Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to integrate any new updates you want at this point in time that you're watching the video into Windows 7 or Windows 8 install. For this example, I'm going to be using Windows 7, but this also works with Windows 8. So why might you want to do this? Well, if you've ever reinstalled Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, anything like that, you know how annoying and how troublesome it is to install your operating system and you have to constantly keep going to Windows Update and downloading updates, installing, rebooting, and doing that over and over. And over time, it really does take a while, especially if you don't have Service Pack 1 and right now Windows 8.1, which has just been announced. So, this is what you want to do. First off, you're going to need an image file of Windows 7 or Windows 8. If you already have one on hand, go ahead and rip it over. If not, you can get it from here. These are the official image files from Microsoft, and these are actually legal to get, believed or not. You don't have to go to a piracy site. You don't have to go to a torrent or anything like that. You can get them legally from here. The only thing is, these aren't cracked or anything, so if you're looking for a free operating system, this isn't the way to go. These are with the intent, and these are distributed because Microsoft is assuming that you have a license key on hand, and you're just downloading an image file, which there is nothing wrong with. Now, I do have license keys for these, so I'm okay with that. Uh, now, what you need is you need to find what variant you want. First off, I want Windows 7. I want the professional version, and I want to get uh, either an x64 copy, which is a 64-bit OS, or an x86 copy, which is a 32-bit OS. I know it's a bit weird if you've never gone into that because, you know, 86 is not equal to 32, but that's just how it works. So I've already downloaded both of these. But what you want to do is just go ahead, find one that you want to download. I'm going to be doing it with a 32-bit copy on here. And once you have that downloaded, it will take a few minutes maybe. It's uh, They're about 2-3 gigabytes a piece. Then you want to come over and download another thing called Win Toolkit. Uh, this also works on Windows 8 as well, and you just want to download it. It's a free download. It's going to be a RAR file. Now what you want to do is come here. I've already downloaded it. You just want to extract it over, open it up open up wintoolkit.exe and it brings this up right here. Now this is where we start working. Now once you have this open, you're also going to need to go to where you downloaded your ISO file. Now right here, as you can see, I already have everything. Um, I already have one that I've made, but I need to do this with a 32-bit copy, as I've said. So what you want to do is you want to take your ISO, right-click it. I'm going to be using WinRAR for this, and you just want to extract it over to a folder and completely extract your image file that way. So we'll come back in a few minutes. Alright, so once you have your ISO extracted, what you want to do is just double check, make sure everything is there, it looks like you're good to go, and you just want to minimize this, and now come over back to where uh, we had Win Toolkit open, and you want to go to Update Catalog. Now when you bring this up, this is what you want to do. Uh, you want to go ahead, please select a category, and then we're going to be selecting McRip Windows 7 x86. You select that, you wait for everything to come up. It's going to take some time for it to populate the list, but you just wait for everything to show up on here. Now, as you can see, this is everything that you need. Um, all the ones checkmarked, as you can see, are the necessary updates, and the ones that are unchecked are the optional updates. Now, since they are optional, you can check them if you want to, but I normally don't check optional updates because they're really not needed. So what you want to do is go ahead, select the location you want to save everything, and hit download. Now this will take a bit of time depending on your connection. I'm not going to do this because I already have the updates, but go ahead and download all the updates you need and we'll be good to go. Alright, now once we have all our updates downloaded, you want to go ahead and come back to Win Toolkit, go to the all-in-one integrator, and then go to Browse, Browse for DVD slash folder. So you open that up, and you want to navigate to where you have your operating system extracted. Now once you're here, you just want to select the folder it's in. You hit Select Folder. It populates it. And as you can see right here, we have Windows 7 Professional. This is the one that is green. So you want to go ahead and double-click that. It's going to load up this. And when it brings this up, you just want to hit Continue No Preset. So we have this right here. Now what you want to do is come over to Updates and Languages. You want to hit Add add updates and you want to go to where you downloaded your updates so for my updates i put them in here updates x86 62913 this is the date it's only 403 megabytes as you can see but you want to open this up and you want to just go ahead if you're on windows do control a it's going to select all them hit open and now it's going to populate the list i have 363 downloads it needs to load up in here but we'll go ahead and let it populate and then i'll come back 
Alright, so now all your updates should be added in here. It's just going to be this huge list of updates that really might not matter to you since they're just like all these bland names that really don't matter too much. But here you can go ahead and select anything else. You can add in some drivers, add-ons, wallpapers, anything like that. I'm not going to be adding anything in because I still need this to be a stock image, but just to retain all the updates. So this is what you want to go ahead and do. Once you have everything the way you like it, you go ahead and hit start. And then you go ahead and hit exit on here. You want to name this whatever it is. So I'm just going to call it the date and the time. Continue. And right down here, it's going to say that it's going to start mounting everything. And now it's going to integrate all of the updates to your image file. Now, here's the thing. This is without a doubt the longest process of all of this. The longest process. Unless you have a really, really, really bad internet connection. So this took me about an hour with a 64-bit update. So you might want to go ahead, go outside, or I don't know, watch a movie or something. But just let your computer sit here, and I'll come back in about an hour. Alright, so once it finishes up, you just want to look down here, and it's going to say completed with an ellipse right after it. And it took about 47 minutes, which is surprisingly about 15 minutes less than it did with the 64-bit revision when I did this. So once you have all that, what you want to do is exit out of here. Now this is what I like to do. I want to come over here, and it's going to be this one right here. And as you can see, you can see there's changes when you see that this folder is 2.8 gigabytes, and my original ISO is 2.38 gigabytes. So that's all the added stuff. So with this, I'm just going to rename it to July 2013, as that's what I'm going to call this integrated build. So you want to have that right there. Now what you want to do after you rename that is you want to come back to your Win Toolkit, and there's two things you can do. First off, you can make a USB bootable copy of Windows 7 or Windows 8 where you can install straight off there. I'm not going to be doing that, but I am planning on making a tutorial at one point, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to just boot it off an ISO image, which is what I want to do, something that you can burn over, you want to come back to basic, hit ISO maker, and from here you want to browse for the folder that has your modified version of Windows 7 or Windows 8 if you decide to do that. Now once you have your folder selected, as you can see, it shows it right here. You want to just go ahead and keep your boot image the same, unless you really know what you're doing, but BIOS and UEFI, that's what I'm going to be using. The ISO label, you can go ahead and change it. I'm just going to be keeping that the same even though it's incomplete. And now you want to select where you want to save your ISO. Alright, now once you have all that selected, you just want to go ahead and hit start, and it's going to create everything and make your ISO image file. So after a few minutes, we'll go ahead and come back and your ISO will be done. Alright, now once everything goes away, you're going to have some that says completed, and it will say your ISO has now been created, so you can go ahead and hit OK, and then just exit out of this, exit out of Win Toolkit since you're done, and you want to come over here, and bam, there you go. You now have your new ISO. The new ISO is 2.79 gigabytes. Original vanilla ISO is 2.38 gigabytes. Now, what I like to do, I honestly like to have both of them on hand. Keep the vanilla image in case you ever want to do this again, and I prefer to have an ISO because that way I can always extract it and make a bootable copy if I really want to off a USB drive, or if I just want to burn off another copy of Windows 7, it's not an issue. But there you go, that's it. So, you know, with about an hour of your time, you've saved yourself quite a few hours. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have fun installing.